and so those are part of the processes cv cover letter demo lesson and your interviews yes you are eligible to come teach here in japan if you're from zimbabwe congo kenya it doesn't matter which country you're from lesotho japan is not hell-bent on like hiring native english speakers I got it. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome my name is bradley i am currently living and teaching in japan and i've been living here for 10 months now so this is a new series that i've created to talk about teaching english in japan in general and today we have episode two where we will be covering how to create a cv in order to be hired to teach english in japan a cover letter and we'll also talk about the demo lesson because those are the things that you need to do in order for you to obviously start teaching english in japan so those are part of the processes so now that you've collected all your documents now that you know what you need in order for you to start your process this is the next step that you need to do obviously in order for you to start applying to jobs now, after my last video people have been asking me about whether they are eligible to come teach here in japan especially from like other african countries because i spoke specifically for south africa yes you are eligible to or eligible sorry um to come teach here in japan if you're from zimbabwe congo kenya it doesn't matter which country you're from lesotho wherever um there's a lot of people here that are from those specific countries it doesn't matter i speak specifically about the process of leaving south africa and coming to japan because that's what i know there are other people from other african countries that teach and live in japan and do the exact same thing that i do and they're not specifically from south africa so yes you are eligible to come teach here and then the other thing that i got asked a lot again from my other video is that can you please give us the name of your recruiter in japan you guys it doesn't work the same as in china where there's like a bunch of recruiters that are like waiting to just like take people and like find you a school and all of that no um companies that i showed you from that previous website have recruiting managers so each school has like a recruiting manager or something so that specific school has a specific recruiter that gets people for their school so it's not like a one recruiter that hires people blah 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 i don't know about that even if it does exist like i don't know about that i just know that my school has a recruiting manager and they got me to come work for their school so they work directly with my school and another thing is that i'm not going to share the name of the school that i work for because of privacy reasons like i don't know who watches my videos out there so i don't want someone to follow me to work or something to happen or whatever so i'm not going to share the name of my school and i'm not going to share the name of the recruiter because like that is a recruiter specific for my school it's not like i'm trying to keep or gatekeep where i work i am in a way for safety reasons but like i already told you guys where to get jobs like that's where i got my job so the schools are all there do with that information what you will so and now moving on to creating a cv so lately the cv type has moved away from what it used to be to this new modern type cv so what i did is i went on the internet and i searched modern cv or modern resume or whatever and then these cv templates came about and then i saw this one specific cv template that was there that i actually saw on word so microsoft word so i went on microsoft word and i looked for that specific cv template and i used that cv template to create my cv again this is my personal experience this is what i used to apply for my jobs here and you can take it if you want and you can use a different template if you want and you can use this template if you want it does not matter as long as it somewhat looks like this because this was deemed acceptable to apply for a job here and if you have another type of template that you want to use go ahead that's completely fine but this is basically what i did to apply for my job this is the type of cv i used okay so i'm gonna put a screenshot over here and we're just gonna talk briefly about the cv and what you're looking at basically right so first things first is that on the one side of the cv you will see a picture of me like i have a nice little professional picture so this is a picture from my graduation that i took where i'm just showing my face like please upload a picture that is like professional obviously like no boobs showing 
no peace signs no pouting nothing just like you like a headshot type of picture that you must include and that's that and then next to the picture is my name my surname and then obviously underneath that is where it says profile so in this profile place sorry i'm gonna be looking at i have a laptop with me right here so i'm just gonna like look at that but then on the side here you guys will be able to see a screenshot of what i'm talking about um on like this section of like profile obviously like it's separated into sections it's separated into profile experience and then like references and blah 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 because obviously like they already know you have like a teaching qualification and all of that stuff so i don't include a lot of those things but we'll talk about that a bit later so the first thing i included is like profile so profile basically like just a little brief description of like who you are what you do what you're about blah 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 blah, all of that kind of stuff so here i just mentioned i'm a motivated adaptive responsible and hardworking senior phase and fet teacher seeking a teaching position working with children of all ages i say children of all ages so i don't limit my range to specific age groups especially here in japan because i know that there's a lot of jobs for kindergarten teachers you guys if you are comfortable with working with kindergarten kids you're gonna most probably find it like it's so easy to find a job for kindergarten teachers but it's not the easiest um job to do so yeah i just said that i'm very adept like i'm a very adaptive person i face challenges head on i'm open to like you know extra murals so like sometimes school do like coaching or you help them with like i don't know like esl extra lessons and all of that stuff and different different types of things like in my school i do something called baby class so kids that are like eight months old six months old come to my school to come do a lesson with me for like 45 minutes and they come with their mom so the mom is there and the baby is there and i teach those babies like you know like baby sign nursery rhymes and i sing to them and i do stuff like that with them so like if you do mention like you're open to extra murals and blah 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 and you can also include like a little bit of like i enjoy this and this and this i enjoy that and that and that uh i am eager to learn new things i'm enthusiastic goal driven and very passionate about teaching so just like something brief nice and sweet about you you add that under your profile and then when you go to experiences nah, um, when you go to experiences then you start like listing um the places where you've worked like all your experiences like the places all the places in the world where you have worked teaching related not teaching related doesn't matter just add it there um experience to experience at the end of the day so i obviously like my first one that you guys are seeing now it's like preschool teacher at the specific place i work now in japan and the previous one um is the esl uh, online teaching that I did on italki you guys already know about that too and then under that is the homeroom teacher because I was a grade 6 and grade 7 teacher in East London before I came here I also added that too added South Africa and added all the subjects that I taught um, just in case like there's a position open for you to do something else besides English teaching but like yeah I listed all the um, subjects that I used to teach and then the other one also is like I was a substitute teacher the other one is like I was a assistant teacher for a different school that doesn't matter and then on the other side here so the first dot you guys are seeing with the pin of location is like telling the recruiter where you are located so i added like my actual like home address you don't have to do that if you don't want to but it is kind of helpful to let them know where you are depending on whether you are already in japan like traveling or whatever or you are outside of japan in south africa or whatever just add that if you want but i did that that's what i did added my location i added my number i added my email address and then i added my sales number so sales for those of you that don't know like i'm i'm an actual qualified teacher so i have a teaching license so that's my teaching license number and then you can tell them here in japan too that like i have a teaching license or you have a tefl if you have a tefl you can add like your tefl too and all of that and your tefl reference number or whatever and the academy you did your tefl with it's fine regardless i also have a tefl i didn't add my tefl i don't know why i didn't add my tefl but yeah that's that that's my sales number and then when we move down this is where education comes in so in the education part i actually have a different edited version of the cv where i did add my tefl certificate to this so i added here education i added bachelors of education senior phase in fet university of south africa um and then my teaching subjects i added them and then under that i added my skills so what 
skills you have basically so multilingual strong verbal and written communication blah 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 able to work under pressure all of these things that you um want to add about yourself you can add them there under skills and then after that it's like references so the references part is the most important part of this whole cv especially when it comes to finding a job here in japan because the companies that you actually send your cv to actually want to contact your references and double check if you work there how was it like working with you and what type of person you are why did you leave the company those kind of things like are very important so with your references i obviously like blurred out my references because like i'm not gonna share personal information like that with you guys but anyway um i wrote the name of the person so like their title like mrs uh, jones smith or something and then after that i added like their actual title like this person was the head of academics when i was there um the name of the school or the name of the place where you used to work and then afterwards i added the phone number and then i added the email address so make sure that you add all of those things so the name of the person their title um their place like the name of the place where they work um their phone number and their email so that's what i did so all of these four references have numbers titles names email addresses all of them so that when the school wants to contact them as like your references like to give references and like ask about how you were in that company they have them in hand yeah so okay cool that's the cv the next part is the cover letter so i'm going to show you guys a, a bit of like the first part of my cover letter because it's somewhat similar um to my cv intro thing but not that much so for my cover letter again i use the exact same picture and the exact same template so this template comes with like a cv template and it also comes with a cover letter template so yeah i use the same picture same colors same scheme everything under my picture you guys can see again my address phone number email address sales number registration whatever and then i have my name my surname and all of that and then underneath i wrote the date to um like the date when you're gonna send this cover letter so if the company says can you please send us a cover letter obviously the day you type that cover letter you can just change the date it's fine you can have a like a pre-typed cover letter for a lot of companies you just have to tweak you know the name of the company and the name of the person you're sending the cover letter to so if this recruiter like um contact you and say can you please send me your cover letter cool shop under the date you must write ne the name of the recruiter or the name of the person you're sending the cover letter to and then afterwards you write like they are the esl executive of kids jewel this company and then under this part you must write okay they're part of human resources and then the last part you write is the name of the school that you're applying to whatever that's what you write there in your cover letter and then underneath you say dear the name of the person dear bradley um i'm your recruiting person cool shop then you're right in your cover letter like just like a little brief description of why you want the job and why you want to move to japan or why they must give you the job basically so for me since i was already here in japan this is how i phrased that first paragraph so i wrote like two paragraphs and like a closing statement type of thing like i recently moved to japan with my husband all the way from south africa i'm, I'm a native english teacher with a passion for teaching uh, kids of all ages i always mention that all ages um i've been teaching english online or to students of all ages from different countries for more than two years now i also have a little under one year experience teaching elementary school kids as a homeroom teacher so that's like very very important like you know to hook them and then underneath that i just like wrote basically like i'm passionate about this and i would love to work for your company specifically because of this and this and this and this so it's also important for you to do research about the company and know what the company stands for so that you can include all of that stuff in your cover letter like i want to work for this company because i love like your 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 mission statement and then you mention a little bit something about their mission statement and all of that blah 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 that's that when you're done with your cover letter so both these documents now you've created them you have them in hand now we move on to gaijin pot i'm gonna post a screenshot also of like gaijin pot on gaijin pot they will ask you specific things like it, you will see like on gaijin pot 
it looks exactly the same as my CV, like as I've created it. Because yes, you will create a CV on Gaijin Bot, but you also have to have a CV, an actual CV document that you're gonna send to these companies. Cause they'll say, okay, cool. We saw your CV on Gaijin Bot, but can you please send me your actual CV? Then you send them this and you send them your cover letter too. Okay. So on Gaijin Bot, again, also I'll like, blur out a lot of my personal information right you'll see there my name is there and then it says the native english teacher experience three years and then on the other side personal information has like how old i am i'm a female my birthday which country i'm from and then underneath you can have like your personal address your email your phone number standard stuff right they give you space where you can specify like what type of job you want they ask you like what are you looking for kind of thing so i wrote the english uh teaching at any school level doesn't matter again age level it doesn't matter it's fine because i was just like looking for a job by then um and then preferably you can say the area that you want to work here in japan you add that and then underneath that you add your skills so your skills you can say you have computer skills and any type of skills that you have obviously this is like easy stuff you like you can just type or you can just like select because like they give you like a list of categories that you can pick from and then on the other side is like visa so if you have no visa you can just say like you don't like no visa then the the school knows that they have to help you with a visa i already had a dependent family stay visa so i just wrote dependent family stay visa and then languages they also ask you like about your language ability if you can speak japanese i suggest that you add that i wrote english and then with japanese i wrote none like i can't speak any japanese so that the website also filters out jobs that require uh japanese english speaking ability and then underneath that then you start like doing same stuff as your cv um experience so you say uh english home language blah 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 blah, all of that kind of stuff qualification uh work history this is what you have in your work history in my education part like i did add my tefl like i said on this website and then your personal status blah 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 those are like things that you need to add for yourself as you can see this is basically what i added work experience the same stuff that's on my cv is on here um certificates that i have so i have a say certificate and i also have um teaching license certificate which i added here on this website and then when you're done with this now the recruiter has contacted you asked you to send you the cv asked you to send you a cover letter asked you all these other things you know police clearance blah 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 blah, blah. you send all of those things they're gonna now ask you to do a demo lesson. So depending on which type of teaching level you're gonna be at, they're gonna be asking you to create a demo lesson for that. And the demo lesson, they'll tell you, okay, it must not be more than 20 minutes. So, and then they'll give you a topic, right? So for me, because I'm a kindergarten teacher, they gave me a topic about like, I think insects or something like that. And they said, please create a lesson about insects and all of that stuff and blah, 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 blah. So if you guys are interested in seeing what a typical demo lesson will look like or is supposed to look like um please let me know then i can create another video of actually like creating like a demo lesson but just to give you like a brief idea of what your demo lesson is supposed to be like so this is different from the italki thing that i've told because the italki uh, introduction lesson is like you introducing yourself and what you do this time around you're creating a lesson of like how you're gonna teach so that the school can see your teaching style your confidence your face and all of that stuff right first things first always smile i know every time i'm telling you guys to smile i'm not smiling i know i know but you always need to like smile and like be happy because remember you're working with kids and also you're teaching them a foreign language as much as it's english it's still a foreign language so you need to always smile and you need to speak slow when i'm at work i do not speak at this pace like this is not my normal my normal pace is are you okay are you ready should we go that's my pace at work i don't speak in my normal speaking pace with the kids so for the demo lesson right for the demo lesson you need like a couple of things obviously like i said you need to smile you need to know the content knowledge you need to do a little bit of research on the topic that they gave you and then you need to create a lesson around that so for your lesson you need one to introduce yourself as a teacher to the kids like every time like they don't know who you are right so you're going to be a new teacher hi everyone my name is like miss bradley um say hi miss bradley and everyone's like hi miss bradley and you can say 
today so obviously going to introduce the topic um today we're going to be learning about insects insects and insects and you have to keep like repeating the same word over and over again because students learn at a different level and they don't all catch the thing at the same time blah blah blah, blah. so you have to show them that you understand that you can't just say today we're going to be learning about insects so this is an insect blah, blah. You, you're not supposed to do that say today we're going to be learning about insects insects you know like insects can you try and say insects insects very good and you have to have like a way in which you like praise the students responses and like give them high fives or like give them some sort of like you know like positive reaffirming you know response like when they do something you have to be like overly enthusiastic about like oh my gosh you're doing great you tried i'm so proud of you type of thing like you have to do that kind of stuff right so cool you show them now these insects and then the other thing that would help you in your demo lesson is that you go out and you do actual print outs of different types of insects and then i know i know maybe your topic's not insects but like just bear with me you go print out different types of insects so you print out like a bumblebee you print out a, a, a grasshopper you print out you print out different insects right and then you have them as like cards right to show in your lesson okay then the next thing you'll say like okay so should we start you give them a choice should we start by singing a song about insects or do you want to see insects with pictures? Which one do you want to do? Who can help me pick? You can say, I do. And then they say, I do. You're like, hmm, who should I pick? Okay, I'll pick Kevin. Then Kevin, you can come. You can pick. Should we do insects with a song or insects with pictures? You can pick. Touch. Which one do you want to do? And then maybe they touch the iPad or something, right? So, okay, cool. We're going to do insects with a song. Yay, good job. Okay, who's ready? You can say, I am. And then they say, I am. You're like, very good. And then you play the song about insects. Okay, and then the song is like maybe about um, butterfly, bumblebee, and ladybug. That's the song. And the song goes, butterfly, ladybug, and bumblebee flying high into the sky. So like you're going to be singing this song for them. Like it's like a 30 minute little nursery rhyme song. You're going to sing the song. You're going to be smiling. There's like little signs like butterfly, you know, like ladybug and bumblebee. Like those kind of things. Like you're going to just like do that. Like butterfly, ladybug, and bumblebee flying high into the sky. And then when you're done, like, yay, that was so fun. Good job, everyone. Okay, now let's see some insects and learn about insects. So you're going to keep repeating like yourself over and over again. Insects, insects, blah, blah, blah. blah. Then you start, bumblebee, grasshopper, ladybug, this and this, blah, blah, blah. And you're going to keep repeating, repeating, repeating. And then when they're done, you're going to pick uh, three of those insects to teach them like those keywords specifically and then you're gonna just put them down like okay cool this is a ladybug a grasshopper and a bumblebee whatever or bee and then you're gonna say repeat ladybug bumblebee grasshopper ladybug bumblebee grasshopper ladybug bumblebee grasshopper and then you're gonna say yay let's try together obviously like very smiley very very smiley again um and then they like repeat what you're saying like, oh, very good very good and you can say hmm who wants to show me which one is a ladybug ladybug who can show me which one is a ladybug you can say i do and then they say i do and then you can say okay uh katie you can come show me which one is a ladybug and then you say which one is a ladybug and then they touch ladybug and you're like oh my god good job touch and you can say ladybug and then they say ladybug you're like good job katie ladybug and you can say okay you can go sit down so like you basically like do this over and over and over and over and over and over and over again and that's basically gonna be like your 20 minutes of your lesson so yeah that's basically what you do roughly if you guys want like a proper demo lesson <laughs> because demo lessons stress me out actually if you guys want a video of how i did my demo lesson 
um i will do a separate video on that and yeah we'll try i'll try to like show you guys basically what you need to do when you're done creating your demo lesson you can either choose two ways because the company will give you like two ways to um send them your demo lesson you can either um upload it on youtube obviously on unlisted which means that the public won't see it but the person with the link can see it copy the link and send it to the company then they can watch the demo lesson and see how you teach and all of that or you can send it to like google drive something something i did not even know how to do that i i know how to create and upload videos on youtube already so the youtube route was much easier for me so i just opted to upload the video on youtube and then when it asks you do you want to make the video private or public you say private ne? so no one else can see it and then the video uploads when the video is done uploading you go to the video options and then you click on the thing that says it says public private unlisted or something something so you click on the dot that says unlisted and then the video will only be seen by you and the company only no one else and then from that on you can share the link with the company and then they can watch a um, demo lesson and then from then on after all of that has happened right then they're gonna do a uh, interview with you so an interview obviously can happen in person it will happen via zoom or via skype or via whatever and i've said again in my other video that you in japan like the culture here is to wear black and white black and white is like considered like formal here so no blue suits or anything like that if you have like a black blazer and a white like shirt or whatever maybe try wear that but i wore like a professional white collared shirt with a black blazer to my interview even if the interview was online you need to present yourself um professional at all times so in your job interview again as much as they have your cv and they have this and they have that of you they'll still ask you can you please tell us a little bit about yourself this is where again the same stuff you wrote there don't go too personal and too like you know like don't overshare but like say things that are related to the job in a way like okay for example um tell us about yourself like, oh, okay um, my name is bradley i'm from south africa um i enjoy teaching kids and i i will tell them like i have a bachelor's degree and blah 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 all that kind of stuff even though they already know i'm just going to mention that because i don't want to tell them like oh i enjoy netball and i go to drinking and i go to the club and you're not supposed to say any of that stuff like you're supposed to say like good professional things like um yeah i'm a, I'm a very passionate person i enjoy you can include stuff like i enjoy listening to music especially if you're gonna be a kindergarten teacher so they know that you're surrounded by music all day it's not gonna be like very annoying to you right let me listen to nursery rhymes all the time so you're gonna be like ah oh, yeah i enjoy listening to music um i'm passionate about learning about different countries and different cultures that is especially important for them to know that when you come to japan you're really really like interested and intrigued by all these things like i learned i love learning about new languages um i love teaching kids i love interacting with kids and i love seeing kids learn and like you know develop new skills and all of that kind of stuff. like that's what you like that's the type of stuff that you say in the interview and then they'll say like okay uh tell us about like how you work under pressure and blah 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 blah, blah. and for that part like you can let them know like you can be somewhat honest don't lie and say oh i work well under pressure and then when you are put under pressure then jiggy jiggy you're crumbling and stuff so you can tell them like um i am like 50 50 when it comes to pressure at first like maybe i do get like overwhelming feelings but if maybe things are laid out properly and i understand what my goals are and what i need to do um i can do this and this and this and this and i work okay under pressure blah, blah, blah. you can say that they even asked me like um what do you think are your like disadvantages or like something that's not like a good quality about you so i told them like my like negative quality about me is that like i am very eager to take on a lot even though i do get overwhelmed sometimes like 
if someone says hey can you do this i'm like yes can you do that i'm like yes can you do that i'm like yes and then at the end of the day i'm like oh my gosh i don't know how to do all of these things all at once blah blah blah, blah, blah. so i need to learn how to say maybe i'm sorry no i can't help you with this type of thing so i just said like those kind of things as like my negative qualities so you don't say yeah my negative quality is that i don't work well with other people or my negative qualities that i get angry really quickly or my negative qualities that i fight people don't say that don't say that at all nothing about you not being able to work with other employees do not say that in your interview and then they'll ask you like okay cool um are you willing to relocate to japan does it matter where they place you that kind of stuff and blah 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 blah. you can just say no blah 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 for the sake i don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing but for the sake of the experience because when i was applying for my job i just said um because i want to experience this type of teaching something that's new to me i've never done it because i'll ask you that too like um yeah you only have experience teaching high school kids you don't have experience teaching kindergarten kids and all of that stuff you can mention um i've always taken care of my my siblings i've always taken care of my my nephews and nieces so i'm very good at babysitting like those kind of things like i i know about like hygiene for kids do you know how to change diapers i'll ask you um um i'm not a hundred percent i'm not a hundred percent um you know confident about my diaper changing skills but i'm willing to learn that kind of stuff like if something's like a negative and you don't have something you're willing to learn you're willing to you know you're a fast learner like those are like supposed to be like your answers after that like in your job interview when you're asked these type of questions but yeah and then after that they'll ask you like about your salary you know preference and stuff and they tell you like this is how much we offer is that okay for you these are the benefits blah 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 blah, 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 blah. with money money is very tricky but i always say that um uh the salary obviously the what what what, what are your salary expectations i always say like my salary expectations are what is fair I, like i never say an amount like i always say what is fair what is fair is what is fair right now in the job market like if you look at other companies and what they are paying that is what is fair right now right um so i use that as a template and then um and then they tell me okay that's how much we're offering you blah 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 blah, blah. if you don't agree with that type of amount they're like no i don't want it blah blah, blah. you can say mm, maybe i don't know if the company is open to like um a negotiation when it comes to that and then then you open a channel where you guys can talk more about how much for them to add or for them to subtract and all of that stuff but if you're happy with it you're like yeah i'm happy with it i'm okay with it and then they'll ask you okay cool do you have any questions for us this is where you ask do you guys um sponsor my visa um is there a way for you to help me find either a share house or an agent that allows foreigners to rent which is very important do you have social like insurance does the school do that that kind of stuff social insurance um what about medical aid what is the medical aid situation obviously like health insurance is what they call it what is the health insurance situation of the company then they want to tell you cool what are my working hours blah 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 like and what is expected of me and all of that kind of stuff um yeah th those those are the kind of things like do we wear uniform like what is the dress code um at work like those are the type of questions i had because with kindergarten kids like you can't go to work dressed in a suit so i wear like sweat they, they told me like no just wear like sweatpants and like a comfortable t-shirt like and they give you like work uniform obviously so yeah those are the specific type of questions that you need to ask when you are given the platform to ask and stuff and then what are your holidays like what are your holidays look like uh for the school and what are your leave like what's leave what's sick leave and all these other like nitty gritty things that you don't think about in the moment like ask them those things like how many leave days do you have how many sick days do you have uh what is this and this and this and blah 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 and yeah and also again you must ask them like um they want to tell you you're going to be on three months probation or depending obviously like depending on the company i was in a three months uh probation period before i like transitioned fully into like a full employee and in japan also again they work very different their school year starts in april it doesn't start in january like the rest of south africa i don't know where else they start in january but it doesn't start in january um so your contract depending on where you start 
I started in October. I worked October, November, December. That was my three months probation. In January, I didn't get a new contract. I only got a new contract in April. So I worked for the company for six months. And then in April, I got a new contract that starts from 2024 April until 2025 April. So yeah, just make sure about that and how they work. But I'm pretty sure most companies in Japan like work from April to April, April to April, because that's when the new next school year is. So yeah, that's basically that in terms of CV, cover letter, demo, lesson, and your interview, specifically when you are working through Gaijin Pot, applying via recruiters and applying yourself, like applying for a job by yourself on a website. Um, if you guys are interested in seeing what a demo lesson looks like, I will do a video where I'm doing an actual demo lesson. I will just like, okay, this is a demo lesson and this is what it needs to look like and then i will just do a demo lesson you guys can watch it use that as reference if you like if not that's also okay that's fine um and also guys remember there are other youtubers online that make somewhat similar type of content and they probably have like a different teaching experience that i have so it is also good for you to watch those other youtubers so that you can know like the different side of things because obviously like this is from my personal experience and not to say that everything i've done from my personal experience is like the correct way of doing things but this is how i've done things and it's landed me a job here in japan so yeah take that as you will and obviously like do your own research but yeah do let me know if you guys are interested in seeing a demo lesson video then i will do that and if you missed the previous video it will be linked in the description or at the end in the cards so you guys can watch that and if you're interested again in the video about the jet program specifically and what you need to do for the jet program there is a video about that too this is the type of video that you guys can watch for the jet program video and if you have any questions please do leave them down in the comment section and then we will talk from there so yeah thank you guys for watching this video i will see you guys in my next one bye Oh,